Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and I have with me somebody you've met before. I don't know if you remember, Betty Womack. Uh, Betty, at the time, was here to talk about our gift shop, which is Going Strong at the Blue Ridge Art Space now. It used to be in a different location, and now we've got it in a brand new home, and we're having a blast. And now Betty's on our board of directors, and we're keeping Betty really busy. <laughs> Are you, are you staying busy enough, I am Betty? staying busy. I'm I staying busy. I bet your busy. husband likes that. Well, you kept him busy, too, for a while when we were renovating. We used a team of folks, uh, oh, my gosh, probably 40 names of mm -hmm. folks that came in and helped us strip wallpaper and sand. Oh, gosh, I've got a photograph of Betty with two sanding blocks going like this. <laughs> we were in a hurry. And then we also stripped some of the wallpaper paste off, and then we finally painted it. And the building inside has a rainbow of it colors. Does. It's it amazing. Does. It looks wonderful. We're really proud of the inside of the building and how much we've done there. We've done a little bit on the outside. For example, if you drive by at the corner of Shadowline and State Farm, you'll see a building with a, a, a front porch, and there's four blue images, kind of characters. Silhouettes. Uh, kind of yeah, like silhouettes. That's silhouettes. The and they're talking about all the cool things that'll be going on in that building that already are yeah. and, and will continue to go on in the building. We've got a musician and a dancer and a painter and a potter. Uh, so it's kind of indicative of, this, of what's going on. On the side of the building, there's this yard, and it's a really, really neat yard. It's got a lot of space to have kids' activities, outdoor activities. We've already used that yard several times. Uh, we've had uh, demonstrations of art with artists out there. We served barbecue out, out there, there last week. Fundraiser. Uh, so we uh, we do a lot of things in that side yard already, and I see us going that direction much more in the future. But it's got this fence around it, <laughs> this tired little mm. fence. <laughs> The fence is, is sort of a dull green, and it's kind of beat up and banged up and... Broken. Yeah, it's got broken pickets. It's Somebody put uh, metal wire fencing around it, I think mostly to hold it together. And so, you know, it's it's kind of doing its job, and it's on its last legs, and the poor little thing is just in dire need of retirement and starting all over afresh, right? Yes, but it also needs to match... The inside. It We've does. worked so hard in making the colorful inside. Now we need a colorful exactly. outside. And uh, when we were working on renovating, um, my son and I, Adam uh, owns the Tar Heel Footprints Company, and he was donating his time to help us. And Adam and I were walking around that side of the building looking for something, doing something around there. And I said, Adam, I don't know what we're going to do with this fence. It looks awful. It's about to fall down. We need this fence to be in good shape. And he and I used to go to a church, my whole family did, that did a quilt where everybody in the church, every family in the church did a quilt square. And it was to indicate who they were. And in, the concept was that the unified quilt was a, uh, a demonstration of who that church was. And he said, why don't we use that same idea with the fence? And that's where this idea began. And so what we're doing now is we've hooked up with um, Perry Yates with uh, New River Building Supply. He, uh, I will say, he has been enormously generous. Uh, his company has donated all of the rainbow of paints that's inside the building. You know, uh, he's really been very generous to us in that way. So he's also arranged for our pickets, which are a certain size, a certain length, um, and a certain design to be available to you. So you'll be able to go buy yourself a picket, and you paint the picket, and you paint it all kinds of crazy ways. And Betty, tell them how express. these are going to be. Well, you can express yourself. That's what we, that's what artists do. They express themselves. So once you get your picket, you have the choice of um, buying it, like she said, at the New River Building Supply and taking it home. We have to stress exterior paint only. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, so we think it would be wonderful if every member of your family from grandmother to you know four-year-olds would paint their own picket the more the merrier because we need how many 246 pickets. 246 <laughs> pickets that's a lot of pickets and so we um, also we're having two workshops three, three workshops mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. one tomorrow one to four Right, and by the time people see this, it will have already happened. Okay. But they will get to come to the next, next one, one, which is on August the, 27th. Uh, July the 27th. Right. July the 27th. Same time, Same one time, to four. Same time, one to four. 
and then on August the 10th, 10th which is our second Saturday, which you'll probably address a little bit later. Yeah, I will. Um, mm -hmm. You also will have that as an activity that people can do. And our workshops um, are $20, and you get you come and you get your picket, and we provide all the supplies, paint, everything you will need to, as I said, create and right. express yourself on your picket. And while I'm talking about that, I have to tell this oh story, yes. and it is uh -huh. unreal, because um, Jerry said we need to get supplies together today for the workshop tomorrow. So I emailed her that I had a few hours this morning, and I would would be glad to go in to um, check out. And I was at Lowe's, and they, they have the paint that people return that's in. It's not right, quite right. the right color that yeah. I wanted. And the young man, Blake, was extremely helpful, and they didn't have any. And um, I was standing there talking to him about the picket, you know, the fence project. And this man came up, and Blake just said, uh, and like this this five-gallon bucket, is he's getting that. And I said, oh, what color was that? And it was just a gray. And I said, no, we don't need just a plain old gray. I need bright, pretty colors. And so this gentleman asked me why. And so I told him about the... Um, painting our fence. And so he opened his billfold, and I thought, well, he's going to give me money to buy paint. <laughs> I thought that was so wonderful. Well, he pulled out this little card, and it says, Pale Painting Incorporated, A-Z in painting, looking for a professional, courteous, and reliable painter. And I thought, did he get the wrong idea? Did he think I wanted him to paint the fence? And immediately he said, I was an art major. Well, I'm a former art teacher, so of course yeah. we could bond. And he said that he had paint and that he probably had paint that we could use. And uh, I'm under the impression that he's going to donate us a good bit of paint. Wow. He told me just to uh, go over on the wall and select the different paint um, cards and colors. So of course I got the color wheel and then I got some pastels and so forth. So Fred Pell, we cannot thank you enough for helping exactly. us get this picket fence off and running and got some white and black because you need a background color sometimes. Yeah. So uh -huh. that is my most wonderful story of it how is. this fence is going to get started. And uh, so we do hope that you will participate either by painting your picket at home or attending our workshops. And if you come to the workshop, some people come to these things and they're like, I don't know what I want to do. They have no clue what they want on their picket and how they want to do the picket. And so we have a book of inspiration that we've put together that has a whole lot of really cool ideas of things that you can do on your pickets. I mean, it's just as it's like anything goes, you know, it just, is just about anything you would want to do. Uh, we are, of course, obviously asking that it be kept tasteful. Sure. But beyond that, there's really not a restriction. I mean, it's just kind of whatever you want to do, however you want to express who you are, what you think, what your family's about, what your group's about, your club, your business, whatever you want to do, uh, can be expressed, and the more colorful, the better. Yes, yes, the that's what exciting. I was thinking, the more color, more design, figures. And you know what's going to happen is, is people are going to be uh, invested in this fence because they've put something of themselves in this fence. So it's going to make them a permanent part of the Blue Ridge art space. True. And then they'll be able to uh, take their friends by and say, hey, there's my picket. I painted that. You know, or there are my pickets. And they might uh, be able to even take their grandchildren one day by and say, if they don't already have them, True. and say, hey, you know, I painted that. That's part of who I am. This is this is your heritage. <laughs> and something I was thinking about, if um, if you paint your picket at home, of course we'd like for you to paint both sides. Don't right. feel like just one side is to be painted because two thirds of the paint, I mean two, three, no, three quarters of the fence right. would be two sided. Mm -hmm. And then we do have somewhat of a back side right. of, of the fence that we could just take the one side if if you do that. And that brings up something. If you do it in the workshop and you only do one workshop, you'll do one side of a picket because we just don't have time to let it dry and turn it around and paint the other side. But the way to get around that is to sign up for two workshops and come and you can paint the fronts of two and then the next workshop you turn them around and you paint the other side Sides of two. And have those. That's and right. And we probably would highly suggest too that you paint 
the entire picket, Absolutely. right? The the mm -hmm. sides mm -hmm. and the little top and so forth, because we're really That's sealing the point. wood yes. to be uh -huh. sure. And if someone doesn't, hopefully we will have the paint to <laughs> we'll go through it. <laughs> to add we'll some. go through and add some to that. And um, in talking, we need to tell them. What, when do they come and bring their pickets? There you go. Good, <laughs> Betty. Uh, we've got this wonderful brochure you need to pick up, by the way, when you get your pickets at New River. They've got a big stack of these, and they'll give you one. And it tells you that on August the 17th, from 4 to 6 p.m., we're having a fabulous fence festival. And at our fabulous fence festival, we're going to have artistic activities Activity. that you can do. One of them is helping us paint a barn quilt that we're going to be putting on our building. So everybody can have a hand in that kind of a paint by numbers concept mm -hmm. where the things will be taped off and you'll just help paint them. But also, uh, we'll be, Adam will have the framework up and we'll be able to hand him the picket and let him shoot that nail gun and pop them in there, you know. So we'll have all of our fence up. Hopefully by the end of the festival, we'll have a full fence. fence. And so we're really, really, really excited about how that's going to look. And I think it's going to add a lot of fun and energy to the whole. And I'm assuming you know. if we don't get the 200 and something pickets, we will continue. We'll if people to. would <laughs> like to come, we would continue to have workshops and or people could continue to go to New River. That's right. And get the, the pickets. So hopefully we can get it all up. But. If we don't, we know that it'll be a, a ongoing project. Ongoing, mm -hmm. ongoing project. But we and we'll probably end up having more picket painting parties and that kind mm -hmm. of thing in that case. But there are uh, three on the books again. Uh, one of which, by the time you see this, will have already happened. But there's still one on July the 27th and August the 10th. Uh, so you can be a part of those, and it only costs you twenty dollars, and that includes everything. And I know somebody talked to me about that that was really a big help to her because she didn't want to go and invest in all the different colors of paint that she wanted to use. True. So it was easier for her to come and do it at the at the fest, uh, picket painting mm -hmm. party than to do it at on her own. Yes. You know? But some folks may choose to do it on their own, and we certainly encourage you to do that. That's that's very okay. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, the Arts Council's got so much going on, Betty. We had to have a two-piece board meeting. Oh, admit, yes, <laughs> yes, we did. We, we got through about, about half, a little over half of the agenda, and then we kind of sort of rushed through the end of it, and then we said later, no, 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 we got to go back and do that right. So we had another board meeting to finish talking about it, and it's just pretty astounding the amount of things that this board is, is helping do. This is such an exciting time to be a part of Blue Ridge Art Space and the Arts Council. It is. It's a little exhausting, but it's fun. It is. <laughs> Well, as you, I think you said in one of the emails that this is the busiest time, and that yes. we'll start slowing down a little bit <laughs> as later we get on, things rolling along. As we get yeah. everybody introduced to our right. new space and mm -hmm. what what all is available. I'm going to give everybody one more date to throw on your calendar. September the 21st is coming up before we know it, and we have a big event, a very big event that is called uh, the Artful Palette. Now, you've heard me talk about the Artful Palette before, but if you knew the Artful Palette before, you don't know this Artful Palette. It's going to be so different. We're doing it at the Green Park Inn in Blowing Rock. It's part of the Arts Rock Month that Blowing Rock is doing to celebrate the arts in September. And uh, because the Green Park is not the same kind of an environment in which we've done the Artful Palette before, we're redesigning the whole concept. And so it's going to be something completely different. And we decided at the planning meeting recently that everybody's going to come dressed in arty attire. That's right. Arty attire for the artful palette. I can't wait to see what people <laughs> show up in. That's going to be fun. So September the 21st, put that on your calendar. You want to be sure and be there. But in the meantime, come and be part of the Pickett's painting parties. Come and be part of the Fabulous Fence Festival. And don't forget about Second Saturdays. Check our website, watauga-arts.org, for this and a whole lot more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.